have some of the very best um, acousticians that are very gifted at wave propagation in all fields. It's good to have people that come in that have a different background because it's that cross fertilization that leads to new new ideas and new events and real innovative breakthroughs. It the country uh, currently has a program in, in, its, in its belief of where it's heading that uh, by the year 2020 or 2030, 20% 20 of the energy in the United States will be developed by wind turbines. That's uh, considerable amount, so you'll see many more of them, but the noise of wind turbines is an issue at this point. And we think we can do a very, very good job in that area um, of reducing the noise of the wind turbine. Uh, this, it seems like it may be a more daunting task, but I really think that it would be good if uh, our center um, got, became more involved with uh, concerns for improved transportation systems. For example, I should tell you that with fuel cells, uh, there are some acoustic devices that recently have been applied to fuel cells and have improved their efficiency by 20%. So acoustic can play a significant role in areas like that. Not easily always identifiable, but it, often we find that they do. Be well funded uh, to do the things that we need to do well-funded enough that we could be innovative. There's a big difference there. I mean, if you have a small amount of funds, you may only do the things that you're tasked to do. If you have sufficient funds, you have time and freedom to be very innovative in how you do your work. And I hope we arrive at that level in the, in the near future.